I enjoyed both of them. I actually enjoyed both of them. Uh, because when I was doing television, that was films for me. You know, I never did television thinking that, hey, I'm a film actor and I'm doing television. I had no work and uh, it saved me. And uh, the only thing about television is that it's a stressful uh, job, you know, and uh, uh, the money, the schedule, everything is very tight. You know, the, the money is tight, the schedule is tight. Everything is about delivering on time. It's not like films where you can, you know, say, chalo, aaj nahi, kal kar lenge. And plus, it's an ongoing running thing. Everything has to be on air. So, it's stressful. It, something just pulls me. It says, ek offer aja ta, achha sa, you know, or kuch ho jata hai. Just se gaadi wapis, uh, usme, it goes back into films again. Like, this happened to me, uh, I hosted a show called Fear Factor in 2006, 2005, uh, which went off pretty well. After that, I saw, uh, even in television, I saw that people were not very interested because I had been exposed in television, you know. So I was, uh, there's nothing much, there's no, no charm left to taking me as an actor. Again, at that time, I thought I'm going to uh, go back to flying. But then the Telugu film started for me. So I got busy there for the next two years. There was Dastak, was my first film, where I was taken suddenly into Switzerland and all of that. My first time in my life, I'm with Miss Universe and I'm dancing on the hills of Switzerland and all of that. But I was like, wow, wow you know. Uh, my experience working in Kela was fantastic. Uh, there was a film called Kela that I did with Mr. Dilip Kumar. And that's what I really learned what acting is. You know, when you're acting with that man, there is no other option but to act. You know, and uh, it was f I love those f spending those times and you know those days with him. Then I did a film called Vajud in which uh, I got the opportunity to work with uh, uh, Madhuri Dixit and Nana Patekar. So that again was a lovely thing. Then then it was uh, um, Jamla Pagla Divana, of course. I did a film called Just Married, which is very very close to me. I think it's a fabulous movie made by Meghna Gulza. And uh, I love shooting that movie as well. And I love, I love watching that movie. Every time that movie comes on screen, uh, it makes you want to watch it. There's something nice about that film, you know. Then, of course, now Son of Sardar is there. So, you know, this is another tremendous experience. I'm not doing uh, Yamla Pagla Devana uh, part two, but that doesn't make a difference. I, I still, you know, uh, I'm as much part of the film as anyone else's. That film is very close to my heart. It's given me a new innings in, in, in Hindi cinema. So, uh, what, what I know about Yamla Pagla Devana part two is that they have a kick-ass director, Mr. Sangeet Sivan, and the writer is the same one as yeah, YPD1 who's again a fantastic, funny, funny writer. Just see his name, just Vindar Bhatt. He's a very good friend of mine. And then there's Bobby, Sunny Bhaiya and uh, Dharanji. That's what I know of the film. They're shooting in London right now. And uh, it's, I hope everything goes well and the film is released soon. I wish I was there in the film, but I'm not there in the film because apparently there was no character for me. You know, there were characters, but then, you know, they felt that they were a little small in terms of they're important and stuff like that. So, but I really wish I was there in the film. Yeah, yeah, super. Yeah. That film is a comedy film again, and uh, it's a strange combination of how the underworld gets entangled with the film world, you know, in a very funny way. And uh, I am, uh, you can say. Bhaiya Ji is being played by Mr. Sunny Deol and I am his right hand man, like, you know, I am his uh, friend, well-wisher, philosopher, guide, everything in the film. And it's a funny film, it's a very, very funny film. <laughs> 